Daft Punk is over, y'all. Yeah. Damn. What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Master Cell, leader of the Master Nice Company One. Subscribe to the round table because you know what's up. Red subscribe button and click that bell as well. Please the button is up. It's okay for y'all. You want my jacket, y'all like it? As time goes by, you can say you had a change, you evolve, whatever you like to call it. In a moment of self reflection, I'm just gonna make some key points right quick of what's going on, and at the same time, a little bit of an update for why things have never coming out on the channel. I know I've been uploading less than I normally do. It's like this. If you double back, let's say 2014, when I was first getting deep into reactions, and I was watching a whole bunch of stuff, I was watching it weekly every time an episode came out. Now you can kind of call that an obligation to the YouTube game I was currently in, but at the same time, I did not have a problem watching those shows weekly. New episode, hit it. New episode, hit it. New episode, hit it. Hey. It's like this though, you know when I first quit reaction the first time, the things were piling up, even with my obligation to YouTube, I did not keep on the shows like that. That was really the 2018. This is as hell, on and off consistency as hell, if that makes sense. For four years, then two years, things have changed. I've actually done this a couple of times. The binge watching versus the weekly episode. Here's the thing about a lot of those old discussions I've done, right? It was over half a decade ago. What I'm saying is, at an evolved change, whatever, things are different now. The way we enjoy anime is not going to be the same throughout life. Honestly, this ain't even really about anime. It's kind of just in general. Like you put in how busy people get over time, how we grow older, how things, time frame changes, how life hits us. And you can disagree with what I'm saying. Matter of fact, you could be actually the reverse. That's fine as well. But the point I am making here is, I have become more of a binge watcher. A binge ish now. And it's not the fact that I binge stuff because I can't watch it weekly. Yes, it is. But the main point is, I enjoy it better this way. Maybe I've always been a binge watcher. I don't know. While I can watch a show weekly, watching it sitting down in one setting is just more enjoyable to me right now. Also, I grab more from it. That brother's been a long time master, and I know my memory sucks, as an example. What is the last couple of shows that I've binged? I'm just able to run through it. And we're going to take it through some of the streams as well. I'm talking the five, six episodes. I'm talking about episodes and shows from this season, y'all. When I picked up Hori Mora, that was straight four episodes. When I bounced back in on Skate the Affinity, straight four episodes. When I picked back up Jobless Reincarnation, that was five episodes straight. No, we know we find the time to binge a bunch of shows. Now, when I say binge, it's honestly not in one setting, quite frankly. It's just really, I just put my time and focus on that show more than anything else. We're just blocking out anything else and just focusing on this show. It keeps your mind fresh on what you're watching. Straight up. Anyway, let's go back a little bit more. When I hit up that decadence, I found myself only halfway through. I had to roll through those six episodes. That decadence video I did was one of my cleanest videos. You know why? Because I had no problem talking about what I just seen, even if it was a whole bunch of stuff at once. It was comprehensive. I was able to just hit all that as it is. As an example, I will give you this. I told y'all that I needed to hit up Uzaki Shana again, which I did. But you know why that video never came out for that? Because quite frankly, every topic in that video is cringe as hell and there's no need to talk about it anymore. Now this is an old topic. But the other reason is because while I did the video and looked it back, I did do the video. I just never edited it. I was vague more than I thought I should have been I actually what happened in the show. I was on the last episode. I didn't see the last episode for the longest time. All I knew is she walked up to homeboy's house and she was just like, I can't hang out with you anymore. She's crying. Get back into the episode. It was just a bunch of bullshit just for her, him to help her out with all her homework. What happened before that moment? Of course, now it's coming back to me. But the point where I hit that video right afterwards is only having that one episode to talk about, I don't know. That could just be a representation of the show itself. It's not. And then, of course, over the course of the years of the shows that's not coming out weekly, that's already out. Not to mention the OG shows that I have been picking up. Like, bruh. It's calling myself out right now. How do I tell y'all? That I'm not having time to watch these shows when in the last half of 2020, in the background of that, I somehow came up with 100 plus episodes of Avatar The Last Ever Been There, Legend of Korra. Now, in terms of watching that show, was different. I binged that in the car in between shifts at work, off Netflix downloads. But at the same time, what kind of excuse is that? I watched 100 episodes of Avatar, but couldn't finish most of the shows in 2020. This year too, that just run through aggressive. Don't forget the whole music odyssey I've been on this whole time since 2018. I don't know if it was 40 episodes herself. 
that are trying to search for back. He is on the slope. Never released that video, but I did watch it. It's just the show stays fresh on your mind. And I think about shows a lot, y'all. Like when these shows are happening, I keep it on the brain. One of the reasons I wanted to talk about Avatar like that, because quite frankly, I was thinking about Avatar all the time while I was watching it. And of course, the more I think, the more you're gonna think about it, the more you have to soak in. If I only have the one episode to sit on, okay. Because that could be the same when you're watching it weekly. Just for me, it's different. Watching shows weekly right now, especially when there's a lot of shows. You know what I'm saying? I think I made my point. I'm trying to cut down on rambling. By the way, there's actually one other show this season I plan to check out. Some of y'all already know what it is because, well, you recommended it to me. Halfway through the season, six episodes. I'm going to put my focus on that for a minute. But yeah, man. Leave your comments below. Let me know how you feel about that. Do you, are you still able to keep up with the weekly episodes? Is that fine? Or do you like to binge as well? Let these episodes come out. Let these episodes flow. And just pick a bunch of them up. And just be like, hmm. If you do agree with me, like this video. If you disagree, like this video. Pump. And I will see y'all. Peace out.